Hello and welcome to Beam NG Drive. I'm your host, David N. Hart, and what you're looking at here is my first ever created vehicle. That's right. I uh, got the the automation program that lets you design vehicles and now export them to Beam NG. And yeah, this is what I came up with. Um, it's missing some parts, and uh, well. It's not exactly what I was looking for. So my my goal was to create basically a truck based something akin to uh, the on the burn side and uh, inside automation. This is about as, as close as I could come so far. Now, I will tell you, I know nothing about making vehicles at all. So my engine does some weird stuff. <laughs> uh, this vehicle is supposed to be able to go 140 miles an hour but as you can see uh, I'm already in 5th gear it's only got 5 gears and it's got going to uh, top out much higher than what we have so obviously it's got some issues but this is so cool just the whole idea of whipping together a vehicle in the program and exporting it out to beam ng that is oh that is so cool and of course it's beam ng so we want to see what it looks like when things break apart oh ladies and gentlemen that's not pretty it's definitely got some weird like J beam kind of things. Now I do want to say this is very, very uh, early access. Beam NG is early access. Automation is early access, and then the pairing of the two is so early access it just came out on Friday the thirteenth. So there you go. <laughs> uh, I can do this though. Check out backwards. Here we go. We can lay some rubber down now. Again. My goal was to create a vehicle that would emulate the uh, burn side in a pickup. And, well, this doesn't quite really do that. Wahoo! Oh, wow. The wheels fall off very, very easily. Also, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> also, um, like, it doesn't have so there's a hood camera there's an external there's a hood driver which is actually on the wrong side of the vehicle unless maybe those guys are over in england huh, that could be anyway and then we have the orbit cam um in the game i told it the in in automation i told it that i wanted a um uh, I can't remember, like luxury interior or whatever. I can't remember what I picked. But as you can see, there is no interior. And I also learned that um, I made the engine way too small. <laughs> way too small. So that's okay. Which I will say automation did throw up all kinds of warnings about my vehicle, about the uh, spin, about the... Uh, whoops. Uh, about the engine being too small. I mean, all kinds of different er not not really errors, but warnings. So there are things I definitely need to fix. And I don't understand like this right here, where the the underlining of the truck is peeking up through. So I don't know if that's some kind of a weird glitch or if that's because I extended the flares on the back. I have no idea, but. Anyway, I just thought I'd throw this out there and let you guys take a look at my very first Beam NG mod ever. Oh, and by the way, um, evidently when I put tail lights in, uh, it didn't actually, I didn't put actual tail lights. I just put the reverse lights. So <laughs> that's, that shows you right there. I'm, I'm, uh, the fact that I'm not in the auto industry is probably a good thing, but what the heck man it's beam ng and we created a vehicle or i created a vehicle for it and holy cow oh yeah, yeah these wheels pop off so so easily and then like i know nothing about brakes and brake sizes and all that kind of stuff so i have lots of learning to do but 
So much fun. Very, very cool. Oh, cool. It does actually change colors. I wasn't sure if it would change colors if I picked a different color. What's crazy is it almost blends in with the uh, with the boards around the ski jump. Now, remember this vehicle pegs out at 80 something miles an hour, at least with the gas. So let's see what happens if we send our truck over the hill. Come on. There we go. Oh my. Oh, well, there we go. Over rev. Oh, we are cooking. Heck yeah. I don't, whoops, 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 whoops. We broke stuff. We broke it. Oh, oh wait, that's okay. Oh, 110. Are we going to make it? No, not quite. Oh, man. Well, this should be a heck of a crash anyway. Let's see what happens when our precious little creation. Holy cow. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That's that's not pretty at all, man. All right. I, I, think, I, I think we can do this, though. I think we got this. Wait a minute. I'm going to set myself up here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, I my, my ratios are way off, and I have no idea what I'm talking about. But I can pretend, because it's BMNG. It's the land of pretend. Here we go. All right. Whoa, what are you doing, truck? Okay, okay. No, no. Huh, my truck definitely has some issues going down the hill. All right, so when I blow a gasket here, I got to see if I can maintain some semblance of control. Yes, we can. Oh, yeah, we can. Come on. Oh, yes. 150 miles an hour. We are going to make the jump. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be ugly. Oh, oh, that is awesome. <laughs> oh, there you go. My own truck. Ouch. In Beam NG Drive. And yes, it managed to clear the ski jump. That is a keeper. I did not pay attention to where it landed but, oh my gosh, that is so, so cool. So, all right. Anyway, there you go. Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let me know some other stuff you want me to try with automation and combining with BeamNG or just in BeamNG. Whatever. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Anyhow, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.